Hi, this is Matthew Park with the YLOC. This is the 7th grade lesson 12 math preview video. Let's get started. Number 1. A pig weighs 42.3 kilograms and a goose weighs 19.7 kilograms. How much heavier is the pig than the goose? Here what we can do is subtract the weight of the pig with the weight of the goose to find how much heavier the pig is than the goose. In other words, this is just a simple subtraction problem with decimals. So if we go ahead and do that, remembering to borrow our numbers, we get that the pig is 22.6 kilograms heavier than the goose. Therefore, our answer would be C. Moving on to number two, Martin scored 120 points in a video game and Mary scored negative 30 points. How many more points did Martin score than Mary? A nice way to solve this is to make a number line to help us to visualize what we're looking for. We can plot negative 30, 0, and then 120. So if these numbers represented the number of points, we're trying to look for the distance from negative 30 over to 120. So if we were to see the distance from negative 30 to 0, that would be 30, and from 0 to 120, that would be 120. If we add these two numbers together, we get 150. So in other words, Martin scored 150 more points than Mary. Therefore, our answer would be A. Moving on to number 3. Isabella earns $12.35 per hour, and Noah earns $9.50 per hour. How much more money does Isabella earn than Noah? Again, this is just another simple subtraction problem. What we have to do is that we just subtract Isabella's salary per hour with Noah's salary per hour to find the difference between the two. Again, doing some simple subtraction, bar the 1 to make 13, we get 8, and then 2. Our answer would be $2.85. Therefore, our answer would be B. Moving on to number 4. The distance from the school to the theater is 3.2 miles, and the distance between the school to the post office is 1.9 miles. What is the least possible distance between the theater and the post office? Well, again, another simple subtraction problem. We can just subtract the two distances to find out what the least possible distance between the theater and the post office will be. Doing that. We get 1.3 miles, or A would be our answer. Moving on to number five. Mirabai has two bank accounts with negative $30 and $50 on each account. How much more money does Mirabai have on the second account? Again, we can visualize this with a number line. We can plot negative $30, $0, and $50. Again, we're looking for the distance between these two numbers. So if we're to find the distance from negative 30 to 0, that would be $30. And from 0 to 50, that would be $50. Add the 2, and we get the total distance would be $80. So in other words, Mariba has 80 more dollars in the second account. Therefore, our answer would be C. Number six, Nicholas weighed 93.6 kilograms. He lost 8.9 kilograms. How much does he weigh now? Once again, another simple subtraction problem. Solving this, we can borrow a one, that becomes seven, problem again, four, eight. Our answer would be B, 84.7 kilograms.
make sure you're comfortable with subtracting numbers with decimals in them. We can do a couple of these. Let's look at number three. Find the product. So remember that a negative times a negative number will equal a positive number, while a negative times a positive number will become negative. So for number three, we have negative nine times negative 10. Looking that a negative times a negative would be a positive, we would get 90. Well, on the other hand, if we say look at number one, we have negative four times seven. And we know that a negative times a positive is just negative. So that would be negative 28. You can apply these two rules to help you out in all of the product problems. Let's finish it off. Let's finish off with one of the word problems. Number one. In 1940, the surface area of the Dead Sea was about 980 square kilometers. From 1940 to 2001, 61 years, the average rate of change in the surface area was about negative 5.7 square kilometers per year. Find the surface area of the Dead Sea in 2001. So we're given some information. We know that we have a time period of 61 years and that we, we also know that every year the Dead Sea loses negative five point square kilometers of surface area. So what we first can do is multiply 61 times minus 5.7 to find out over 61 years how much surface area the Dead Sea would lose. Solving this, would get us negative 3,477. Oh, don't forget your decimal point. So it would actually be negative 347.7 square kilometers. Now all that's left to do is see how much surface area is left after it loses that much kilometers. So all we do is 980 subtracted by that. that would get us 632.3 square kilometers. That'll be it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Thank you.